This guy. This guy should have been in the league last year, but wasn't for some unknown reason. He's cracked. He's been at the top of Chinese contenders for three years now, and he's ready to show his stuff in the league. Can he stand up to the main supports in his region? Hell, even the other rookie main supports? Let's find out. Super Eric got his luck start in Lucky Future, but they didn't do so hot. He would perform very poorly in 2018 Contenders China Season 1, and follow that into 2019, though he would perform well in Contenders Trials. However, instead of continuing to that season with Lucky Future, he joined LGD Gaming, where he find much more success. Playing alongside Gaga and Kaneki, he got to the semifinals three times in a row, and failed to get to finals three times in a row, ironically one of those failures coming from Team CC. He would show a very solid Lucio and Mercy at this time, being able to go from Go to the 2-2-2 meta with equivalent performance. His Lucio enabling his tanks well, and also popping off pretty frequently. It's Team CC, of course, they can just bunker up in the back line, and JWJ just wombo comboing, got to get in there, and the back EMP coming through. Rookie will get one kill with a self-destruct that uh, Secret does. In his mercy would enable his DPS quite well. He even pulled out the Baptiste and performed nicely on it, which could be important for next year. We joined Team CC for the NetEase X tournament, and they kept him on despite them not doing so hot, and the rest is history. They become probably one of, if not the best contender team in history in 2020. They win at 7 stages, win 1 season, and become one runner-up in a season after a huge upset loss to Fly Gaming, and effortlessly dominate the gauntlet where they were tossed up against Korean contender contenders teams such as Runaway and World Game Star Phoenix. His play ascended here. He dipped people like Bliss, Chio, and Faith who were all very good and had maybe the highest peaks of any contenders main support. He was known for a very unique style of mercy, going for aggressive rushes, which is a thing I didn't even know existed, and being very bloodthirsty, but he did allow Dia to carry, which happened a lot. He also showcased a very, very good brigade, getting a lot of final bros, and building a spire quickly, though it wasn't as good as his mercy in Lucio. After winning the gauntlet, Gaga, Ligue in 1987 all moved to Owl, and Dia went somewhere, and the team rebuilt, but Super Eric continued to be very strong, having a top tier brig and proving his Lucio was still top notch when he did get the chance to pull it out. He and Team CC would wind up getting the top seed in their group, which included O2 Blast before losing in third place to O2 Blast in playoffs in a very competitive series. While Team CC weren't that good in Season 2, the hype didn't leave, and now he's on the spark again. This has been a long time coming. I don't know why he didn't end up anywhere last year. Granted, Yveltal is better so he wouldn't end up on Shengdu, but surely he's better than Mandu or Wea. This dude is real good. Up there with Chio, Chering, and OG is the top brass of main support rookies. He's incredibly well-rounded and consistent, and even has a decent BAP. I think he'll be great next year, and definitely above average, and even in the mega competitive APAC region. Only Yveltal and Lee Gong are clearly above him, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more. I upload nearly daily Overwatch League content, and I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs by Season 5, so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.